with thanksgiving and into his course with praise be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations to all generations oh how I love Jesus oh Help me out. Love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you on this morning, Father. And we love you, Father, because your word simply tells us that you loved us first, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, pray next, Father, that you come in right now, Father, that you would have your way in this place, Father. We thank you for last night's rest, Lord Jesus, how you washed over us as we slumbered and slept, Father, not being conscious of what was going on around us, Father. Lord, you didn't allow no evil to come in and overtake us, Father, and we just want to say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Father. Thank you for your protection, Father. Father. Thank you for your mercy and your grace toward us, Father. Lord, you didn't have to do it, but you did, Father. And we just want to say thank you, Father. Truly somebody laid down last night for plans for this day and didn't wake up this morning, Father. But you spared our life, Father, one more time, Father. And we want to say thank you, Lord. We bless your name on today, Father. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, for there is none like you, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you for clothing us in our right mind, Father. Father. Thank you for the full use and activity of our lambs, Father. For Lord, we know it's in you that we live, move, and we have our beings, Father. And without you, we're nothing, Father. But with you, Father, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened us, Father. Father, we pray next, Father, that you look on those that are on the prayer list, Father. Those that said, pray for me, Father. Those that don't know you're in a partner of their sin, Father. Give them a mind and say, what must I do to be saved? For Lord, it's your will that all men be saved and that any should perish, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray and ask that you look in on Living Word Ministry, Father. Look on the members, Father. Meet every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, Father. Let there be no lack, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, continue to put a hunger and a thirst, Father, in, in us, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have your way, Father. We invite you in this place on today, Father. For you said in your word, Father, you inhabit the praises of your people, Father. We know that you're yet present, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Father. We bless your name on today, Father. Pray and ask, Father, that you look in on the speaker on today, Father. That you send a word, Father, a raiment word, Father. Help us not to be hearers of your word, Father, but help us to continue to be doers of your word, Father, to obey your word, Father. We thank you, Father, for what you're doing here at Living Word Ministry, Father. We thank you for each and every auxiliary, Father. Pray and ask that you would just have your way, Father. Have your way in this place, Father. We thank you, Father. We bless your name on today, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, these things we pray next. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Thank God. Oh, tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. Thank God. Amen. 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 Your scripture is coming from the 130th Division of Psalms. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. 
Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. All gods. All gods. Praise ye the Lord. There's something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. I know anybody love the name. Oh, I love the name Jesus. Oh, 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 oh I love the name Jesus. If you know it, help me sing. It's the sweetest name.
God some praise on this morning. Amen. 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 I count this as a privilege to stand before you on this morning. Amen. Amen. God is good. I don't care what anybody say. God is good. And if you don't believe me, you trying for yourself. That'd be the best witness. Trying for yourself. First, giving out to God and His Son Jesus, to Pastor Sims and First Lady Sims and her absent, uh, to the deacons, to the mothers, to all the saints. Truly glad to be here on this morning. Amen. I thank God for what He is. Yes. And you know what? I'm learning how to give thanks. I'm learning how to appreciate not only what you do, but what God does for me. Amen? Amen. Because he don't have to do it. Amen. He really don't have to. But I thank God for who he is and what he is to me in my life. Amen. Amen. I'm asking you to pray for me uh, as I go into my message on today and I, if I talk to the Lord and I talk to the Lord and I talk to the Lord and, and you know it's just, it's just so much and, and the scripture came to me if you have your Bibles if you go to Psalms 103 and if you can labor to your feet as we read the scripture Psalms 103 starting at the first verse. And I know that we do this all the time. The scripture reads as, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Amen? Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed. You may be seated. We want to bless the Lord because God blesses us each and every day. Amen. Amen. In our world today, we have so many thankless society, so many people who don't say thank you if you do something for them. There are so many, there's jobs that you feel that are thankless. You have friends that, or associates, you might feel that are thankless. And you even have relatives, when they call you, you help them out, they don't tell you thank you. Then they'll turn around and come back again. And they still won't say thank you. And if you don't help them, they will say, well, what's wrong with you? Thankless. So God is asking, why don't you thank me? Why don't you thank me? I do this for you. I bring you out of this situation. I take care of you in this situation. Why don't I get a thank you? We are a society of thankless people. And we need to take care of that situation, especially if we're dealing with God. God has done so much for us. In, in, in the Webster Dictionary, the word blessed means to thank somebody, to express heartfelt thanks to somebody, often expressing expression a wish. For example, for example, uh, Bless you for speaking up for my child when they're in trouble in school. We don't even take the time to thank the person that's intervening on our child's behalf. We'll just grab our child and just walk on out. <laughs> Thankless. Thankless. 
and everything we do always give thanks. Whenever we get a promotion on the job, we should be gracious enough to say thank you to that one that provided that opportunity to come our way. Some people feel that certain things should come to them automatically because of who they are or who they may associate with. And a lot of people do that. Well, you, you know so-and-so. Well, I'm kin to so-and-so. And? And? That doesn't mean that you can't say thank you. But that's what people do. They always throw that up at you. You know, now you, in, in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 13 it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. This is what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says in everything, not some things, not this little thing here, but in everything, big or small. For this is the will. This is God's requirement. This is his requirement that you give thanks that is concerning you. We should always be thankful in everything. Yeah. One thing I've learned in life, and my parents taught me, is whenever someone does something for you, you always give thanks. You tell them, thank you for what you do. You should always say thank you, even if you receive a present that you don't like. And as soon as you get it, you want to take it back to the store. Yeah. Take it with a smile on your face and tell the person, thank you regardless if you like it or not. You don't have to let them know you don't like it, but let them know that you appreciate it because they thought about you. Yeah. It's the thought that matters. Yeah. It's the thought that matters. Say, for instance, I buy Deacon uh, Clemens another blue tie. He says, I got three of them already. Okay. But my response would be, if I received another tie of the same color, and I got three or four of them in my closet, my response should be, thank you, I appreciate it. And go on your merry way. Because it's the thought that that person thought about you. And whenever we tell God thank you, he appreciate that because it's the thought that we're thanking him for something that he's done yes. or that he's going to do, that he wants, that we want for him to do. It's the thought. And you know, a lot of times when we go out to dinner, when you get your plate, how many of you just dig right on in? How many ask blessings over your food before you eat it? Amen. You have to be careful because you don't know who prepared that food. You don't know what's going on back in that kitchen. So you want to bless that food. So if there's anything in it that's not like God, take it out and let it be a nourishment for that body, amen? We have to learn how to give God thanks for everything that he's done. Amen. As we sometimes be ungrateful with others and even in, in everything, it's like I get into that situation sometimes. I kind of like forget myself. And somebody would do something and I would say, oh, okay. All right. I appreciate it. You might as well not say nothing. Because if you're going to come off like that, you're better off not saying nothing. But you know, with God, we got to be more open to him. We have to let him know how much we love him. God has done so much for us 
so much for our children. He's done so much for our children. Sometimes you don't even know what he's doing. And we ought to give thanks for him, thanks to him, for what he's doing for, the, for our children. Sometimes we need to face obstacles. We need to learn how to be thankful for our obstacles because they come to make us strong. If everything comes easy to you, how can you handle anything that comes challenging? You, don't, you won't know how to handle it. But when God brings things to you that you don't like, still say thank you. Because there's a, there's, there's, there's a way that God can get our attention to where he'll, tell, he'll make you say thank you whether you want to or not. And God has done so much for us. As we, as we go on in, in, in the word, in Psalms, in verse two of Psalms 103, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Some Christians seems to forget what God has done for them it's nothing. It's a benefit. God does things for us, and we need to appreciate those benefits that he's done for us. One of his benefits is that when we open up our eyes in the morning, and we're still in the land of the living, that's a benefit. If we're able to swing ourselves out of the bed without assistance, that's a benefit. If you're able to walk to the bathroom, take care of your personal needs without assistance, that's a benefit. If you are able to put on your clothes without assistance, that's a benefit. If you are able to fix your own food, feed yourself, that's a benefit. If you're able to maintain a roof over your head, that's a benefit. If you are able to handle day-to-day -day problems and not lose your mind because God has regulated your mind, that's a benefit. When you were sick and you called on Jehovah Rapha, that God that healeth, that's a benefit. When you need God to show up and show out, you call on Jehovah Elam, the one true God, that's a benefit. When you have to go to court and you needed someone to step in, step in for you, you called on Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is your banner. That's a benefit. When your money was acting funny and you needed to provide for your family, you called Jehovah Jireh, the Lord that will provide. That's a benefit. When you need someone to fight your battles for you, you call on El Shaddai, the Almighty, that's a benefit. When hell is breaking out all around you and you need some peace, you can call on Jehovah Shalom, the Lord of peace, that's a benefit. Just before I sit down, I want to point out the most important benefits of them all is the benefit of salvation. That means by the name of Jesus Christ came down from 40 and two generations to save a dying world from sin. Yes. That's a benefit. Amen. And out of all these benefits, we should be giving him thanks. We should thank you, Lord. We should tell him thank you for each one of the benefits because each, each day these things occur. It's not a one-time thing. It's an everlasting thing, these benefits that he gives us. And we need to learn how to appreciate that. In John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all that he has done for me. My soul cries out, and when I think of the goodness of Jesus, of how 
he set me free. God didn't have to do it. God don't have to do it. We should be able to walk in this, in, through these doors and say, God, I love you. God, I thank you for allowing me to come through these doors one more time. God, I thank you for letting me come in to worship you one more time. I didn't have to be rolled down the aisle. I didn't have to be carried in down the aisle. But I was able to walk down these aisles. I was able to see the light of day. I was able able to give another chance to praise his name. I was able to give him thanks for what he'd done for me the day before. I was able to give him thanks for what he's going to do. I am able to give him thanks for taking care of my family. I thank God, I thank God that I'm able to give him what's due for him. I am able to thank God for my life, health, and strength. But not only that, I thank God for salvation. I thank God for saving me. I didn't have to come off the streets. I didn't have to come out of the dance hall. I didn't have to come out of running, running the streets. But God saved me. And for that, I thank him for that. I thank him. I thank him. I didn't have to live on the street begging for money. I didn't have to walk up and down the street pushing a car. I don't have to walk up and down the street wondering where's my next meal coming from. I don't have to wonder. I don't have to wonder about how I'm going to make it. I know that God will take care. I know that God will take care. Once you put God first, God will take care of you. Once I keep thinking God, God will bless you. That's just like putting money in the bank. If you put money in the bank and you need some help, you can go to that bank and take some money out. If you tell God, thank you, that's telling God, thank you, that's putting money in the bank. Because when you need God, you can get a withdrawal on that thank you. If you appreciate God, if you love God, if you love God, you don't have a problem telling God, thank you. You should have a problem telling God, thank you. You tell your husband, thank you. You tell your wife, thank you. You tell your children, thank you. You tell them that I love you. Honey, I love you. Sugar baby, I love you. Darling, I love you. Tell God, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, you didn't have to do it. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I give you thanks. Jesus, I give you praise. Jesus, I give you honor. God, I thank you for my life, health, and strength. God, I thank you for waking me up this morning. God, I thank you for the little aches and pains in my body. God, I thank you. I thank you, God, for what you've done. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. How many of you are thankful to God? How many of you are grateful to God? How many times has God took you out of the hospital? How many times has God got you out of that accident? How many times has God spared your life? How many times has God put money in your pocket? How many times has God put food on your table? We got to be thankful. You got to be thankful to God. Because you don't know this may be your last time. And this is the time you ought to give God thanks. You ought to give God praise every time you get a chance. Hallelujah. If you're riding down the street, you can think about the goodness of Jesus when that car cuts you off. Tell God thank you. He spared your life. Sometimes we get in, go to the wrong place at the wrong time. Things happen, but it doesn't affect you. You can say, God, I thank you for sparing my life. God, 
God, I thank you. We have to learn how to give God praise. You should give him thanks automatically when you walk through the doors. This is the place to worship God. How many of you are grateful to God on this morning? How many of you want to give God thanks? How many is willing to give God thanks? How many of you want to tell God, thank you for another day? You know, it's an honor and a privilege. When we go home, we have to decide on what I want to eat. There are folks out there who don't have that choice. That's a benefit. That's God's love and grace to you. And all he wants us to do is to tell him, thank you. Two simple words. Thank you you and if you want to add three thank you Lord we got to learn how to be grateful for God but not only to God but with each other thank your fellow your, your, your fellow person your neighbor your family it don't hurt to be nice it don't hurt to be nice if you can be nice and love your neighbor, God can love you too. Amen. 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 How many of you love the Lord on this morning? Amen. How many of you need something from the Lord? Yes. I need something from the Lord every day. I can always use his blessings. It doesn't matter how it comes. I can use his blessings. Yeah. Amen. 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 I thank God for this opportunity. Amen. And I hope that I can be encouraging to someone. And you know, I, I, I thank those who help me. Sometimes, you know, uh, I might need correction. I thank you for the correction. Instead of being bitter about it, thank you. Because one thing I learned, I don't know everything. And there are some things you know that I don't know. And when you offer me that information, thank you. And I mean that with a sincerity. So I'm asking the saints to pray for me that I will continue to be the young man that he wants me to be. Not what you want me to be, but what he wants me to be. You might want me to be one thing, but he wants me to be another. I want to be what he wants me to be. And my teacher comes from the word of God. Everything I need to know is in the word. Everything you need to know is in the word. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Were we blessed this morning? You know, he was, the elder was talking about being thankful. And I know we got some young people in here. But some of us seasoned people should be the one making the most noise. Amen. Because sometimes we take for granted when he woke you up this morning. When you opened your eyes this morning, you should have been saying thank you. Amen. When you looked in your cupboard this morning and saw that you had some kibbles and some bits, you ought to say thank you. Amen. When you looked outside and not only was your car still there, but it had gas in it and it allowed you to get to the house of thanksgiving you ought to be thankful all of us in here should be screaming because of what he has done for us thus far all of us in here should be screaming because what he has done for us thus far he has brought us a mighty long way 
We have not done it because of how good we are. We've done it because he loves us so much that he is willing to bless us even when we mess up. He's able to lift us up even when we act like we losing our mind. He is here blessing us. And the least we can do is say thank you. And part of saying thank you is giving him some praise. Is there anybody in here this morning that's ready to give him some praise for everything that he has done for us? He is worthy of praise. Thank him from the top of your lungs. Thank him from the top of your lungs. Give him praise this morning because he did not have to be here for us. He is here because he loves us. Let's give him some praise. We take for granted the little things that God does for us. We take it for granted until we don't have it anymore. So it's okay to do a praise dance every now and then. It's okay to scream his name. It's okay to get down on your knees even in front of your friends and foes and let them know why you're thankful. Elder, I appreciate that word this morning because we need to give him thanks. He has blessed us so much. Bad as my bones hurt this morning, I'm thankful. Amen. Because I could walk to my car, I could limp in the house, and I could make it to church this morning. I'm thankful. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Anybody here thankful this morning? Amen. 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 See, young folks, sometimes the young folks, they just automatically think they're supposed to wake up. Amen. Amen. But I've seen a lot of young folk on the front of an obituary. Amen. So we all should be giving him thanks for giving us one more chance. Will there be one today? Please stand. Will there be one this morning? One that knows that the only reason I'm here this morning by the grace of God. That he worked it out for me to see one more day. And for that we should be thankful. Is there one this morning that wants to give him a personal thanks this morning the doors of the church are open he's worthy to be praised the doors of the church are open we should never be shy and ashamed to say guess what I didn't do it. The reason why I'm here is because as bad as I am, God was willing to give me one more chance. As much as I messed up, 
God saw fit to look beyond my faults and see my needs. And for that, we should give him praise. He's worthy. There's still time if you want to thank him on a personal note. If there's something you need prayer for, time is right now. None of our lives are perfect, but we serve a perfect God. What's his name? Jesus. Blessed Savior. Doors of the church. His word are open. God bless you. Elder, close us out. God bless you, Pastor. So thankful for you, for everyone on this morning. I thank God that someone will be blessed on today. Amen. All minds cleared. Gracious Father, we thank you for this day. Oh God, we thank you that you allow us to come into your house once again. And right now, God, I'm asking you to bless each and every one that is here. From the front door to the back door. Oh God, bless our children, God. In the name of Jesus, touch those that come over the highways and the byways. Bless those that come across town and across streets. In the name of Jesus, watch over us, God, and bring us back at the appointed time without a loss of one. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Go with God's saints. Be blessed and be a blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.